Okay, so good, good afternoon, children. So in the previous classes, we have studied about linear equations in one variable, isn't it? So what is basically an equation? So if two algebraic expressions are equal, for example, 2x plus 1 is equal to 4x. Here, two expressions are there. 2x plus 1 is one algebraic expression and 4x is another algebraic expression. If these two algebraic e expressions are equal, then we do refer it as a equation. So also we have studied about a linear equation. What exactly a linear equation is? Any equation of the type ax plus b is equal to zero, where a, a is not equal to b and x has the power one. So any variable has the power one. Such equation is called as a linear equation. Also, we have studied about so solving an equation in the previous class, isn't it? So what exactly solution of an equation? Any value of the variable, which when substituted in an equation, makes it both sides equal. Both sides means LHS is equal to RHS. If you are substituting the value, whatever we found after solving an equation using transposition rule, if you are substituting back those values, it will give you LHS is equal to RHS. These X is called as a solution of an equation. So in today's session, let us see about or learn about application of linear equation in word problems. Before that, we have to remember certain points when we solve a word problem. Let us see the points. Read the problem carefully to know what is given and what is to be found. Represent the unknown quantity as X. Always remember, which is unknown in the situation. In a word problem, we need to keep it as X or some other letter, any letter you can use it, A, B, Y, Z, etc. According to the condition in the problem, there are situations and they have given certain conditions and we have to build a relationship between the given quantity and the quantity to be found, what exactly it is given and what we need to find out. If you are finding this relationship between the two, definitely you are going to form a relation and it is in the form of a linear equation. The fourth point is, Solve the equation to get the value of the unknown quantity. Finally, we are finding a solution for that particular equation. These four steps you need to be very clear when we solve a word problem. Let us take some few examples here. Question number one. The perimeter of a rectangular swimming pool is 154 meter. Its length is 2 meter, more than twice its breadth. What are the length and breadth of the swimming pool? Basically, they have given the perimeter of a rectangular swimming pool. So we need to be very clear what is given in the question, okay? What is given in the question? Perimeter is given. So what is missing? What we need to find out? And length is also given, right? So we need to find length and breadth, of course, but length is two meter, more than twice its breadth. There is a condition that has been given. We need to build a relationship. So which I need to uh, keep it as X here. If we keep breadth as X, definitely I can build a relationship in terms of length also in terms of breadth. Let us see. Let the breadth of swimming pool be X meter. Let us keep breadth as X here. Okay. So then its length will be, what is the length of the swimming pool will be twice of X plus two. The condition is very clear here. Twice its breadth. Okay, this is twice its breadth and two more than, it is given very clearly, two meter, the length is two meter more than its breadth. This is the given condition. So the length will be 2x plus 2. So next is, we know that the perimeter of a rectangle, what is the perimeter of a rectangle? 2 into length and breadth. So substitute the given values there. What is length here? According to this, length is 2x plus 2 breadth is x, right? So after simplification, you are getting 3x plus 2. Then again, you are getting 3 twos are x, 3 two twos are 4. What is the perimeter? 154. They have given the data. In the, in the problem, they have given perimeter is 154. Let us solve this equation using transposition rule. We have to bring that 4 to that side. For the simple, after simplification, we will get 
x is nothing but 150 by 6 that is 25. So what is x basically here? x we keep, kept it as a breadth of a rectangular uh, swimming pool. Okay, so therefore the breadth of swimming pool is x meter that is 25 meter and the length will be 2 into 25 plus 2 and that itself 50 plus 2 that is nothing but 52 meter. So the length of its swimming pool is 20, 52 meter where the breadth will be 25 meter. This is how you have to be, uh, what do you say, read the word problem very carefully and which you are going to find out. That you need to keep it as a X and also build a relationship between the two parameters here, length and breadth, that brings your X value, okay? Wait, let us see the second question. A certain number of rupees 10 notes and a certain number of rupees 50 notes are kept in a purse. Okay. There are 50 rupees notes as well as rupees 10 notes. We do not know actual number, how many kept, how many number of notes are there in the purse. So that there are 60 notes in the purse. How many notes are there in the purse? 60 notes are there. If the total value of the money is 1,400, find the number of each type of notes. So basically here, the number of nodes are different from the value of the nodes, isn't it? So let us keep how much, which number we need to keep it as X. That is the question here. Basically, what is the answer? Find the number of each type of nodes. So what is the question? You need to be very clear what is asked in the question. What is asked in the question? Find the number of each type of nodes. Definitely, we need to keep number of nodes as X. Okay, let us start let the number of rupees 10 notes be x so the next statement will be number of rupees 50 notes will be how many total number of 60 uh, number of notes are there in the purse 60 so definitely rupees 50 notes will be 60 minus x correct so total number of notes is 60 so number of rupees 10 notes will be x definitely the total number of rupees 50 notes will be 60 minus x then then we will concentrate on value of a note. Value is different from number, isn't it? The value of rupees 10 notes definitely will be number. How many number of notes are there? And value of each rupee 10 rupee note. So value, value of rupees 10 note is rupees 10, right? So, so similarly, the value of rupees 50 notes will be number of ru uh, 50 rupees notes as well as one value of each one rupee note. So finally, we have to write this as 10x, right? 10 into x because 10 is the face value of that note and x is the number of notes, rupees notes present in the purse. So the total value will be 10x. So what is the total value of rupees uh, 50 notes? It will definitely 60 minus x. Okay, these are the number of rupees 50 notes into each note will have the face value of rupees 50. So the total will be 3000 minus 50x. Okay, this is the value of 50 rupees notes. Then, how can we build a relationship? Total value of all the notes will be equal to, it is given in the question, what is the total value of all the money present in the note? So it will be how can we write the linear equation? 10x value of rupees 10 rupees notes and okay, this is the value of rupees 50 notes. Total will definitely 1400 rupees. After solving this, we are getting an equation plus 3000 and minus 50x is equal to 1400. So finally, minus 40x is equal to 1400 minus 3000. So x value will be minus 6600 divided by 40. It will be minus minus get cancelled. So the answer will be 40. What is x? We have kept rupees 10 notes be x, right? So number of notes, 10 rupee notes will be 40 and number of 50 rupee notes will be substitute here, here 60 minus X. So it will be, 
it will definitely be 60 minus 40, that is 20. So how many number of rupees 10 notes are there? 40 and rupees 50 notes are 20. Is that clear? Any doubts you can ask me? Okay, perfect.